This is Matt for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Star. Get that one right. I'll, I'll get I'll get onto it as soon as this interview is done. I'd like to be joined by Paddy McCrory. Um, Paddy, um, talk to me. IBO World Champion. Watched you go to Germany. Load of Irish fans. You did your thing over there. Got the stoppage victory. Has anything changed for you? Do you feel different now that you've got that sort of accolade? No, nah, no, I don't feel different. I'm like I'm still the same person. It's like. Like I'm getting in the ring and fighting somebody, it, like, it, like it doesn't make me any better, you know. It just, I'm now like a, a champion in the weight. It gives me yeah. a, like a, like a small bit of pull, but like, that's about it. Everyone I speak to says you're one of the nicest guys in boxing. Um, Jamie says, yeah, you know what? He's a, he's a great guy, and you know he's he's got a decision to make over your weight now and what weight you want to fight at. Um, Jamie said that at this lower weight, I um, can't remember which fighter or someone references that you punch unbelievably hard for that weight. If you now, you've got a decision to make of what you're going to do for your immediate future um, in terms of your weight and where you think you fight best at. Yeah, definitely. Like, listen, I weighed in, I, I got 170, 175 this morning and it was far too easy. Like, like, like this week's been a breeze where usually I'm in the gym training, cutting out carbs, cutting out salt. I'm tr like I'm making weight and for this I didn't have to um, which tells me that I'm not big enough but I carry the power I carry the size I carry the frame if the opportunity is right like, like money's got to be right and yeah, yeah money has to be right, right like, for me to stay there but I can't make it real with what's it like fighting on these big cards obviously you had that moment in Germany where you had that uh, that moment I saw all the common boxing were there in the ring celebrating with you describe describe that feeling because you're not someone who's let it go to your head that one moment it won't define you you wanted to go on to other things try and achieve other things but what was that what was that sort of moment in time like for you it must have been must have felt like a dream come true to get that sort of recognition for your hard work because you've not had any handouts in this game you've done it the, you've done it the hard way so what was that what was that brief moment like for you I was very very special like like looking about and seeing like like a lot of Irish fans there as well, and we're in Germany. Like, like it was amazing. But the thing was, when I started boxing, I started on like these ticket deals. I had to beg to get on shows. I begged to get on like their first show. I knocked someone dead, and then they signed me. So it's it, like it's been a long road. But thanks to the fans that keep coming and getting on these big shows and getting big opportunities, and now I, and now I have a chance. I have a chance of 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 of, of um of Sorry. go ahead. Yep. So now I have a chance of making s serious money in the game. Is that what it's about for you, um, providing um, a life for when maybe boxing's over and putting money in the bank? I know a lot of fighters talk about legacy over currency, but for you, is it is it about a bit of both, or is it just about biggest fight possible, most money? What 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 is it for you? Yeah, listen, it's like it's a bit of both. I have three young kids, four, three, and eleven months. So oh shit, that's a lot of money right there. Yeah, yeah, but I still work, so I still work. I still work like part time. What do you work as? I'm a, a personal trainer, and I have been for like three and a half years. So, just like the hours are getting less and less and less because I have to give like more time to boxing. But um, like I'm still there. I'm still providing like for my family. My wife works full time as well. So, money isn't like it's not the end goal, but it'd be nice yeah. like, like to get that to be able to make money and be mortgage free. And that's always been like, my aim like from day one. So basically what we're saying is get on board and get you sponsored right away now for however long while you're on this run, especially yeah. now you've got this belt because the, I, the IBO belt, as much as people go, oh, it's not one of the big four, it's a door opener for you. It puts you in a very good position to get these big fights. Who are the names that you're looking at? And I know you won't be looking past this tomorrow night because yeah. one, one slip and it all goes back to how it was, but there must be names, there must be people you're looking at going, you know what, that's a good fight, that'd be a big fight. Have you seen anyone who you go, you know what, that's the one. Yeah, listen, like, so I think, I think Wasserman have like the option, like for my next fight, and they've spoke about, Linden? yeah, Lyndon Arthur, which is a yeah. massive fight, big fight, big big fight. Yeah, he's very very good. He's much bigger than me, so again, it has to be right. Um, and then down the super middleweight, I think there's plenty of fights in the UK to be made as well. Even like, I've spoke about Rocky Fulham before, who he faced next week. Dan like, Aziz, isn't it? He faced Dan Aziz in a very good fight. Two, two very good fighters as well. It's going to be interesting. Um, and I just think there's loads of fights to be made there. I think even like a light heavyweight, Joe Smith Jr. would be a massive fight as well. Like that's a, hu that's a, that's a huge fight. Isn't it? Yeah, like he's top rank. Um, I think it's an easy fight to make through. Yeah, like and and he beat his last fight, so he, he could probably see me as 
a step back like the world level. So I think it, I think it's an easy fight to make. Well, hopefully you get a bit of luck with these uh, with these fights. But you're you're on the right path. Talk to me about Colin Boxing and what they've done for you and the, the opportunities they're providing. Because when you look at cards in boxing, a lot of the time it's cracking main event, and with no disrespect, because a lot of promoters have problems maybe getting the matchups, but they always seem to get good fights on. Um, with either really talented prospects and 50-50 matchups, what have they done for you in your career? Yeah, listen, Jimmy's built me right. Um, I'm 34. They could have rushed me, but they didn't. Um, and I think they've got me like the right fights at the right times. I've took some risk. I, I've fought a Russian. I've fought a Mexican. I've, I've been to Germany in his backyard. Germany, well. I, like he was back. He was heavily backed by Wasserman. He was their home favorite. I was brought there to get beat, and I smashed them up. And we knew, I think we knew that we were going to do that. Yeah. Um, so, Jimmy's asked me right. Colin Boxing has been a brilliant move for me. I've worked with Jimmy for four, four or five years now. Um, and like, we're very close as friends as well. So, we're opening up doors, we're getting like, the right opportunities. And I think if money's right, I can get a massive fight. What's the dream for you? Is your dream maybe Michael Conlon? I think I've heard him reference they've reserved on set paddies the MSG. They've also reserved over here. Um, trip to the States, undercard there. Is that... That's, that's, I, can see you, I can see you smiling. Right? Square exactly. Garden is friggin' insane, man. Like, that is a dream. That, that's a dream. But I love Belfast City. I, I love Belfast. And the experience at some paddies day here as well, I think would be very, 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 very special. Well, look, Paddy, what, what are we expecting to see from you tomorrow night? Is it destruction, explosion? What what can we expect to see from you? I don't know. This camp's been a bit different. I, I've seen zero footage, like on the guy in fighting, and he came in about four pounds overweight, so he had to go and make weight. So he, he's a big dude. He, like, I'm really a super middleweight, yeah, which yeah. is 168 pounds. He came in at nearly like 180, so it, it's a big jump. I went him like 176, so or 175 mm-hmm. nearly, but yeah. I'll go and I'll test the water. I'll see what he's about. I can't find no footage on him, so i got to test the water first, yeah. and then we'll see from there. Feeling out round in round one, and then all guns blazing from there. Yeah, listen, <laughs> he's yet no, and he's five knockouts, so i got to be switched on. Yeah. It, it, it's going to be a dangerous fight, I think, but one that I expect to come through. Well, look, Paddy, thanks for talking to Boxing Social. We look forward to seeing you in action tomorrow night. Um, if you've not seen Paddy fight before, blinking, you'll miss it. Um, hand, hands of stone over here. So, yeah, tune in. Thanks for talking to us, and we'll catch up after your fight. I appreciate it. Empire Pro, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out Empire. <laughs>